Welcome to your Sunday morning at 11 a.m. And today is usually your week in review as far as your news. But this week is not, I repeat, is not, as you saw from the thumbnail and the description, warning, your time is running out. going to cover that really needs to be said and make sure that everybody understands this that it affects now I do realize that I do have people that do not live in this country that watch my videos and everything else and thank you very much for tuning in um, I have people from uh, Jamaica from Australia England all over the place so maybe some of this stuff may not pertain to you but you may be interested in what's going on in case you're not getting the news wherever you may be so Let's get right into it. Okay, warning your time is running out. From this day on Sunday, you have nine days left until the election, okay? Regardless of which way this goes and if the uh, Republicans, Democrats, whoever wins, okay, they got all these polls and everything out there and I trust these polls about as much as I trust the weatherman, if you not get what I'm saying, okay? Um, but anyways, either way that this goes, there's going to be civil unrest. There's probably going to be protest. Lord knows if there's going to be looting. Let's hope not. Let's hope people can keep it somewhat civil. And let's hope that nobody gets hurt. Okay? Secondly, you got Charlie Victor 19. All of a sudden is really roaring to life here in the good old USA. As of Friday, we posted the most cases of Charlie Victor 19 in a single day. Then we have at all through the whole Charlie Victor 19 since it started and it was a little over 80,000 in one day for the whole United States all right we're up to what 200 and close to 225,000 probably more than that by the time that this video airs so in death so you know it's it's not looking really good people now I did go to the store and stuff today and I kind of stocked up on a few extra things that they are warning that there could be shortages again as far as like flour and those types of things. But I will tell you that from what I researched online, a lot of your grocery store chains are actually thinking outside the box and trying to plan ahead so we don't have another big mess with chaos like we did before when Charlie Victor 19 first hit and it wiped out the complete stores. As you all know, when you go in went to the store, there was nothing on the shelves. It looked like the end of the world. You know, first thing that went was toilet paper. That was gone. Um, then all canned goods and, and all that kind of stuff, then all that was gone. I did go to the store today, and you can tell people are preparing for something. All right? These people aren't in there doing their regular grocery shopping because... They're in there buying 20 pound bags of flour, buying 25 pound bags of rice, canned goods out the wazoo, you know, and everything else because they haven't really started putting limitations on stuff. Now, two stores I went to today, um, they have started with the uh, limitations on toilet paper and paper towels that I did notice, okay? You're allowed one per customer. Now, that's one paper product that's what the little disclosure says so you can choose if it's toilet paper or paper towels so it has already started all right now these grocery stores like I was saying they are trying to stay a hit of the ball all right they're trying to make sure that the end they're having in-house stock available so that they can keep stuff on the shelves and we don't run into the supply and demand part of it like we did before but one thing you also have to remember you know we have the election that's rolling in in nine days from today we have Charlie Victor 19 that's going up not down we're not flattening the curve you know that's kind of just pretty obvious um, watch any news network go on to the CDC look at the numbers for yourself uh, you don't have to have the government tell you um, you can look at what's out there and put one and one together and get two so you want to make sure that you're prepared 
We don't know what's going to take place, like I said before. So you want to make sure that you have at least a two-week supply of food in your house. Now, I don't think they're going to be turning off people's water and gas and all this other kind of stuff. So I would concentrate on making sure that you have plenty of food in your house, just on the chance that in your area, now if you live out in the middle of the country somewhere, you know, and your closest neighbor's 10 miles away, I don't think you really have anything to worry about. Maybe make sure you got some extra bullets. But if you live in a city, a major city at that, you may really want to pay attention to this, okay? Or if you have to drive into a major city to do any of your shopping, you may want to pay attention to this. Because we just don't know what's going to happen. And if the shit hits the fan, you don't want to have to go in there and try to buy supplies, especially food and stuff for you and your family, when it wasn't necessary for you to do that and put yourself at risk. And if you do have to do that and there's stuff going on, do yourself a favor. Don't take your whole family with you. Leave everybody home. One person goes and takes care of the business. All right? Because we just don't know how maybe some of these people could react. And when they're out there and their little rage and everything else, as far as civil unrest goes, you know, I think just about everybody's fair game. They're not really looking to see if it's kids, uh, who it is, all right? No sense to take the risk. Part of being a prepper that you probably should know, but if you don't, I'm going to tell you, is that you prep so that you're ready for any type of situation that does arise so that you do not have to put yourself out there and subject yourself to the chance of you getting hurt, killed, robbed, whatever else, okay? Now, I'm not making this video to scare anybody. I'm making this video to make sure that everybody is wide awake and understands what is coming, okay? A couple other things, very important, so pay attention. If you do have a little bit of money in the bank, say in your savings or whatever, you know, take out a couple hundred dollars in cash. Make sure you don't take just like two $100 bills. See, go inside the bank and see if you can get it broken down into 20, 10, fives and ones. This way here you have your basics all covered because Lord knows what's gonna happen. So you have all different types of combinations of your money and you shouldn't have a problem if you have to go to a cash-based system if for some reason in your area that the credit card machines and stuff are down or whatever else, okay? Secondly, if you do have or take prescribed medicines from your doctor, make sure that they are filled and ready to go. If you are coming up on your refill date, as soon as you can refill it, refill it and see if you can pick it up the same day. If your refill is going to be, say, the week of the election or after the election, maybe call your doctor up and see if it can be filled beforehand and just tell them, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. You're not going to feel comfortable having to go out and see if maybe they'll refill it a few days early. You don't know. All they can do is tell you no. All right. So you want to make sure that you have food for your family for at least two weeks make sure you got some cash on hand make sure that your prescriptions and stuff are filled don't forget about your pets too make sure you got plenty of dog food cat food bird food whatever it is that you kind of animal you have make sure you have some way to feed that thing while all this is going on because the last thing you want to have to do is go to the store to get dog food and you know you don't know what you're going to have to drive through to get to that Although you could probably order it online and hopefully um, UPS or FedEx or somebody can deliver it to you. But there's no sense to be put in that situation. You know, don't ever forget it about your animals. Now, just to recap, all right? Warning, your time is running out. You have nine days until the election. We have Charlie Victor 19, 
that is starting to just go right up in numbers every day. We already knew this was coming, folks, because it has already been happening in other countries. All we have to do is look and see what's going on there, and it's only a matter of time before it comes here. It's kind of like how this thing all started out. You know, when this thing first started out, I put a video out a long time ago, back in January, I think it was. Um, it was called Grab a Coffee, We Need to Talk. And I said then, this isn't going to be good. It's only a matter of time before it's knocking on our door. And here it is. Because a lot of this, you don't need to be a rock scientist to figure it out. So, I want everybody out there to stay safe. I want everybody to go out and get prepared. Follow what I said to do. Make sure that you have cash. Make sure your prescriptions are filled. Your animals are taken care of. And make sure you've got food for your family for at least two weeks. So, this way here... You don't have to worry about going out if something happens, especially to everybody that lives in or around big major cities because things could get very ugly very fast. The police have already started planning for civil unrest, protests, looting, and everything else. They're putting all these plans in place. It's all right on the internet. You can go on to Fox News, CNN. It doesn't matter. They're all saying it. They're all planning for this. So... More than likely, you're going to see something happen in some of these major cities. Don't let it happen to you. Make sure that you're prepared. Make sure that you and your family are safe. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, stay safe. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.